Let's review from the inside a desired response for palpating bony structures while assessing the epidural space during the paramedian approach. After safe landing at the mid lamina below the interlamina space, we do medial and then vertical sweeps. During medial sweeps, about 5 to 8 millimeters, we usually feel a gradual decrease in depth. During vertical sweeps, about 5 to 8 millimeters, the depth stays the same or slowly increases as we walk off into the interlaminar space. Since we cannot see through the skin, it is possible to land in a less ideal spot and have a less optimal inward and upward angulation when we are trying to find the interlaminar space. Let's review a few of those cases. Next, we will discuss what happens when you inadvertently land on facets. When you land on facets as we walk the needle medially, we notice no step up, but instead we may step down into the interlaminar space. Another option here is to reinsert the needle a little bit caudad and medial and to complete the usual walk off medially and up. Landing to lateral. Sometimes we feel a continuous wall of bone doing a vertical walk. This is because we are too lateral and keep hitting facets. If you do not walk off in the interlamina space within 5 to 15 millimeters after beginning the vertical sweep, consider the possibility of being too lateral. Sometimes you can feel a step up when you move to the lamina above. In this case, we changed the trajectory. Next, we will show what happens when you land too lateral in the interlaminar space. In this case, we may not feel a good engagement after walking off into the interlaminar space. In such a case, we recommend pulling the needle back and advancing it to land on the bone in a more caudad and medial location. The walk off in such a case may feel very normal. However, there is no resistance when we check for loss of resistance. Always strive to be as close to the midline as possible. When we change the trajectory, in this case, we experienced a much more robust LF and a great loss of resistance. What happens when you land too medial? It may be difficult to find the space between two spinous processes. Consider decreasing the inward angulation or choose a needle entry point that is more lateral. What happens when you cross over the midline? There is a risk of overshooting when one angles the needle too medially. Always be mindful of where the midline is. Take into consideration the depth of the needle while you imagine the position of the tip of the needle. Be aware in this case you may have a loss of resistance but much later than usual. This will be a false loss of resistance because you will end up in a fat pocket on the opposite side. If you feel that you have walked off the lamina and engaged in the LF, but do not have a loss of resistance after advancing the needle more than five to seven millimeters, consider that there is a tissue plug in the needle. If so, Stop and reinsert the TUI stylet and recheck for a loss of resistance before continuing to advance the needle. Consider using ultrasound to assist with the epidural so you will have a better control over the landing spot on the lamina. It will also help you to have a better idea of the degree of the inward and upward angulation of the needle.